I want to show you guys some of the tools you need when you work with tower gardens. You don't need a hoe, you don't need a rake, you don't need a weeder, but there's some other things that you need. And I usually um, pull my truck up and I just open the tailgate and I use that as my um, my little tool, you know, bench, which is kind of cool. But um, okay, here's my garden. I got a bunch of stuff I need to plant. Cause see how the whole, how many holes I have? I have well, I have tw 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, holes in my tower garden and I probably need to fill up like 40 that second tower back there the one that's almost empty behind the olive tree here I'm gonna take that completely down tomorrow or the next day and clean it up and then plant with strawberries when I get strawberries in from the County Extension Agency but um, I've got lots of spaces I do have lots of seedlings so what, what do you need when you have a tower garden well, first you need the tonic and this is the, the tower tonic it comes from tower garden this stuff is great I wouldn't substitute anything at all for this it's um, really well res researched um, used by NASA um, used by um, Tim Blank who was the chief horticulturist at Epcot so it's just the best stuff out there and it is cheap one this is a I call this a gallon it's a gallon of A and a gallon of B and that's $60 shipped and that's gonna last you anywhere from seven to ten months per tower garden and I just think that's super cheap that's less than 10 bucks a month per tower and you can get even cheaper if you buy three things then you can get um, then you get it, it gets marked down to $54 because you get a break on shipping so what I do is I, I usually buy two of those and then I buy like some nut pots that makes the nut pots almost free or I buy some rock wool because then that makes the rock wool very very cheap um, with the discount so you know three things but you got your tower tonic I use my pH is like eight on my on my water so I use this stuff general hydroponics pH down and I'll put a link in it but from Amazon it's about 20 bucks and on all of my towers this will last me about six months so it's super cheap I use it comes with a scooper and yeah I get acid all over my hands and yes nothing ever happens to me but I use the one big scoop per tower but it depends on what your pH is of your water of course you need nut pots and um, the ones I took out I cleaned all up and I stored them I had a new batch and I thought, oh, let me put the nice pretty new batch in for fall. Um, I like this tree here. This tree comes from Park Seeds. I get the big trees for the, big, the flats. It fits a, fits a whole flat here of um, rock wool and that's 98 plants. And then I also buy trays that are like half the size that will fit 28, which is just enough for one tower. So if somebody buys a tower for me, then I can gift them with a set of seedlings for a tower. Um, and then of course you need your um, labels, and we I get the we get the labels in bulk, really really cheap, from this store this place in Florida. I can't remember the name of it because my friend always orders, um, but I can put a link down below. Same with actually the rock wool. Like if you can buy the rock wool in bulk, and we buy you know we buy it in huge bulk, um, you know like a hundred a hundred of these, and then we get them um, pretty cheap, um, and we get it from the same place. Um, but then also I have my um, my seeds so you know here they are and you can actually direct seed right into the tower so like I could take these guys that I just planted stick them right in the tower if I wanted to and barring the only thing that might bother it would be like tons of rain might like push the seeds back out but um, you know if you don't have that then otherwise just wait for them to root like this is a good size size to put in the tower sometimes people think the bigger the seedling the better but actually the sooner you can get it outside, the better it adapts to the weather. Um, and then I use, instead of the little container that comes with the tower garden, I've just bought these at Walmart. These are bigger. And, um, and see, it goes to 400. And so instead of having to, like if I fill up a whole tower with a little cup that comes from tower garden, you have to fill it up twice and then fill it up twice. And I just buy a bigger one. And plus, for all my towers, like I can fill it all the way up. And then I can go around and dump, like say I need to fill four towers up with 200 each. So I just fill it up to 800 and then just walk from one to the next, just dump, dump, dump. So that's, those are the kind of tools you need for your tower garden. Oh, and a nice scissors. The scissors always helps to cut things up. But again, no hoe, no rake, no, no, you know, tiller, no weeder, no, no, nothing, you don't need any weed killer or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's a great, simple way to garden. So I'm going to get to it because I only have about an hour left of light. 
and I have to get ready to go to church tonight. So um, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you soon.